Welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be a little bit rough around the edges because I'm filming this with a handheld camera and not my normal microphone system. However, this video is, if you're thinking of buying an old Renault Zoe, so this is a 2000 Renault Zoe, some of the things that you might want to make sure are checked on it. Now, first of all, this needs a brake fluid change. It's never been done and I don't want to sell this car to my customer without that being done. So that, that's one of the reasons why I'm going to go and get sorted today. The other thing is, I checked the BMS software. Now, I don't normally do that on older Zoe's anymore because every single Zoe's had a BMS update since I did a massive video about it a couple of years ago. But I thought, I'll check it. And lo and behold, it's one of the very few old Renault Zoe's that hasn't had a BMS update. So it's showing a really low state of health. I think it was about 65%, but I'll put a screenshot on the, on the screen so you can see that. And that means that there is... The BMS, the software in the car, so that's battery management system, thinks it's a little bit lower than it should be, which means that it could restrict the range that we get out of it. Now, on a full charge, this car was showing about 74 miles range, but we don't know what the last owner's done any resets on it. The average uh, miles per kilowatt hour did seem quite low, but the high mileage there, so I, th I think they've done maybe a, a two pedal reset, which has confused the figures slightly. What we're going to try and do is we're going to try and make it all the way to DSG Morecambe uh, that I get my BMS done and I'm also going to get the brake fluid done there at the same time and it's 75 miles away. Now, I'd be honest, I'm probably not going to try and risk it on a full charge. I have done DSG Morecambe on a full charge in a 22 kilowatt hour zone before in coldish weather but today is cold and wet, two of the worst things for an electric car but we'll see how far we get. We've got a full charge at the moment. I've done a, I've done a standard uh, trip reset, so we're showing 62 miles. I don't really know what charges are going to work either on this route because a lot of the charges are being ripped out by GridServe and replaced with new charges, and some of them haven't got 22 kilowatt sockets on anymore. So it's going to be also a fact-finding mission. I'm probably going to conservatively go for two stops and keep a progress of the rage. I've got my dongle with me so we can have a look at what the state of charges when we get to charge but some of the data is wrong because of this incorrect battery management software if you're thinking of buying an old Renault Zoe I do advise that you buy one of these dongles and check the battery management software check the state of health or ask the dealer to print out or show you what the battery state of health is if it's an old Zoe and it's not had the BMS update insist on it I would not sell one to a customer without it being done even on this car because it's now going to be a battery owned I'm going to have to pay for that. I'm going to have to pay for the battery management system to be updated, but I'm going to pay for it, and I'm going to pay for the brake fluid change because I feel all second-hand Renault Zoe's should have it done as a matter of urgency. The bigger question for you to pose in the comments is, is this an inherent fault that Renault put in by faulty software from day one and therefore should pay for for whoever the customer is, battery owned or battery lease? If you are a battery lease customer, you should be able to get the battery management system paid for by RCI because the other argument is the state of health below, you know, 70 or 70 odd percent. So you'll have a new battery instead. So pose the question down below. Let me know in the comments what you think should happen. I've arrived at my first charge and it's not Lancaster Services because I realised I could go a little bit further than Lancaster Services, even though that was the last charging stop that I knew had an AC charger. And what I ended up doing was driving the whole 74, 75 miles to DSG Morecambe on one charge. So it turns out this video is going to be shorter and far more interesting than I thought. Now, I've always gone on about updating the BMS. It means that you get more range out of your Zoe than if you had the old BMS. And it turns out that I was completely and utterly wrong. Many people also thought the same. So if you have got an old BMS and you think that your car will get more range with a new BMS, it will get the same range. What I did notice though, the guesser meter gets more accurate the lower the state of charge you get. So at one point it says I was not going to make it to DSG Morecambe. I was six miles uh, less on the guesser meter than I had left to go. And then as the range and the, 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 the battery voltage got lower, um, the car then guess me it got a little bit more accurate now I've arrived with six miles remaining range now what I think's happening is that the guess meter is ignoring the state of health system on the car and paying more attention to the cell voltage as you get low and it's going the cell voltage is high enough that we reckon you can get this many range before you go out so 
If you are thinking of buying an old Renault Zoe 22 kilowatt and wondering if a seven Celsius day, a seven seven Celsius day on a wet day, on a very very windy day, and wondering can you still get 72, 73, 80 mile range out of them in the winter? The answer is yes, you can.